Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 19th of 2025 is titled Titan Touchdown, Huygens' Descent Movie. So what do we see here? Well, what we see and what we're going to watch in a few moments is a video showing the touchdown of the Huygens spacecraft back in January of 2005. And that's when the Cassini spacecraft had arrived out at Saturn and it carried the Huygens lander, which intention was to visit the moon Titan. That is one of the large moons of Saturn and in fact the only large moon in the solar system with any significant kind of atmosphere. So it was a very interesting thing that astronomers wanted to be able to study. Now let's go ahead and watch the video as we see this take place. And as we see it, and we'll get started here, we'll see the introduction here, and we'll see an animation of the Huygens uh, lander there, and we see it separate out from the Cassini spacecraft. So the Cassini spacecraft remained in orbit around Saturn for about another decade studying it. But we can see the Huygens craft then heading in to the atmosphere of Titan, and this is an, again an animation showing this and then it switches to the actual images. So these are now images from the camera. It took two and a half hours for it to descend to the, sur descend to the surface. And we can see at about the 70 kilometer mark we start to see something in the through the haze. Titan is covered in a complete haze so we can't study it directly from outside. You actually have to get through that haze to be able to see what's there. And we got to see that there were some lighter and darker areas of the region and we saw a lot of channels and river beds. Now the river was not water as we might have here on earth but actually rivers of methane that had flowed on the surface in the past and there are likely still lakes of methane as well. So we were not sure what would happen here. It was quite possible that Titan could have been completely enveloped in a whole lake of different hydrocarbons, things like methane. But it turns out there was a lot of solid surface there as well. And we see we're getting down to just a couple kilometers above the surface now and we'll finally reach the landing portion here in just a moment. And as we get closer, we'll actually see the landing site where the Huygens lander landed there. And we could look out over there and see all of the rocks on the surface. Now those rocks are not rocks as we know them here on Earth. Those rocks are actually balls of ice. That's water ice that is present there. And Titan is made up primarily of ice, icy materials, things like water and methane. And here we see again a re uh, an animation of this as it landed and then we can see the parachute there that brought it down to the surface kind of floating off toward the side. So it was again a chance to really study and look for the possibility of life on another distant object. And this is one because Titan is the one object in the solar system of course in addition to Earth that has a liquid present on the surface and of course this is methane not water as we have on earth but we did see the water there the water is just solidly frozen because of the extremely cold temperatures on the surface of this moon several hundred degrees below zero so it would not be possible to have water in a liquid form there at those cold temperatures now the Huygens probe survived for about 90 minutes on the surface of Titan sending back images and studying what it could in that short time. The Cassini spacecraft of course did continue to study Saturn over the next decade. So that was our picture of the day for January 19th of 2025. It was titled Titan Touchdown Huygens Descent Movie. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be High North. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.